Pontiac Fiero Hi, in this segment of my 3800 build video, I'm going to change out the lower intake manifold and upper intake manifold on the supercharged version of the 3800. This is the Series 2 model. Um, this happens to be a uh, common flaw with GM's design. They use a plastic uh, gasket as opposed to uh, one that's a little more sturdier like metal. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and while we have the engine out of the car, I'm going to go ahead and swap that out, and we'll go through some of the steps to do that. Alright, so obviously my engine's not in the car, so anyone looking at this video with the engine still in the car will probably have a few extra steps and obstacles to work around. Uh, in my case, the engine's free, and this is going to be a, a Fiero conversion. So I will note right off the bat that the fuel rail has already been removed. I've sent that off to have a custom one made. Um, so if you need to know how to remove the fuel rail, check out my other video on doing a Fiero 3800 fuel rail conversion. Other than that, um, we'll go ahead and start uh, pulling this apart. And we'll start by using our flathead screwdriver to pop off plug wires. And then uh, we'll go ahead and unbolt the supercharger. Now to actually start removing the bolts on the supercharger, there's going to be a bunch of them going around. Um, and they are a uh, 10 millimeter. And I'm going to use a 6 inch extension just to make life a little easier. We also on the same side have this one hiding behind the snout. Alright, now we'll work away to the other side. Alright, we're on the opposite side of the supercharger, so undo the four bolts here. And there's one hiding back here. Alright, and then we also have to remove the EGR heat shield bracket. As well as this bolt, which also ties down the supercharger. Okay. I think we're ready to pull this thing off. And there we have it. Go set this aside. We'll take the lower intake off. All right. Next up is going to be the EGR tube. This will be a 13 millimeter wrench, as a socket won't fit due to the exhaust. Really nice if you have a ratcheting wrench. If you don't, just be patient. Got that out, so we can set this in here so we know where it's at. Now we'll move on to the lower intake bolts. Alright, now to remove the lower intake, there's going to be a series of 12 bolts uh, spanning all the way around. We're going to go ahead and remove those. I'm going to keep them in their same location. I'm not sure exactly if these are specific to the port, if it really matters, but I'm just going to keep them where they are. Um, but they are a 10 millimeter, so we'll go ahead and start taking these out. I know when you put them in, they go in a certain order. The, the tightening sequence goes a certain order. 
I don't think that's the case in removing them. There we have it. We'll go ahead and set this aside, clean it up, we'll change the gasket, we'll get it all back together. All right, I got the components all cleaned up, the lower intake gasket, supercharger, they're all cleaned up, got the old gasket scraped off and checked everything out. So we're good to uh, put the new gaskets on. I'm gonna go with a Felpro kit, model number MS. 98014T. That is a complete gasket set for the intake on a supercharged version of a uh, 3800. So we'll go ahead and start installing this one. Alright, so on a side note, this is the factory GM lower intake gasket. It's made of plastic. It's very prone to fail. So it's something that should be replaced if you can do it. But this is the factory one and we're going to replace it with a metal gasket. So we're going to do that now. Okay, and just for show, these are the Felpro gaskets. You can see they are definitely made of metal, a bit more durable. So let's go ahead and put those on. First we're going to insert the uh, side gaskets that go on the edges of the block. The black part will face the outside. We're going to set those in first because the actual valve gaskets or intake gaskets are going to sit on top of these. So get those set in first. The valve gasket will have these little nubs you can see that will fit in these holes here to hold it in place and make sure it's lined up properly put that on like such we'll do the other side Perfect. Now your kit's going to come with some black RTV silicone. We want to put that on all four corners. Pop that open. Quick glob. You want to be generous because we got to make sure it seals in just how we want it. No cracks, no leaks. So. Okay, 
All right, now we're going to put our lower intake on. Down, make sure we get a good, good start on our seal. All right, now we're gonna work on torquing down our bolts sequentially. I'm gonna start with uh, this bolt, which is second from the end, away from the EGR. Um, we're gonna set it to. Um, 15 newton meters, but the fact that I'm using an adapter, an extension, I'm going to set it to 16, and I think that equates to somewhere between 11 and 12 pounds. So we're going to go ahead and torque these down sequentially, and we're going to start with this one. Our number two will be uh, second one in on the opposite side. Number three will be directly across from it. Number four is this guy, next to the one we did on this side. Basically what we've done so far is make an X here, 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 and then we're going to move on. Alright, so this will be number five. It's the one that's deeper down inside. Alright, I believe the lower one on the opposite side is number six. Number seven will be the lower one on the opposite side of the one we did. All right, number eight will be the opposite side on the lowest bolt. All right, now we're going to come back up here and do the upper ones. So this will be number nine, I believe. Number 10. This will be number 11. And last one, number 12. Right now we're going to throw the supercharger gasket on. This is a Felt Pro gasket. Model number MS95744. I'm going to open this up and uh, stick it on. It's 
Take this bad boy on. Kit also came with some bushings that we're going to replace right here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pop that out. All right, now we're gonna put the EGR on. Basically, just gonna have to uh, reattach, stick it in the hole. And this is the uh, 13 millimeter wrench nut socket. Go ahead and tighten down all the bolts. And now we're going to put the intake bolt on. Also holds the uh, EGR heat shield in. And last one. 